So I've just got back from Aldi where I did some shopping and today's shopping was a little bit haphazard. I usually have a meal plan and a grocery list and today we just sort of went in there and winged it a bit. Um, so let's see how we did. Okay, so first of all, we're running very low on loo paper, so we picked up a big bulk thing of that. I didn't get much in the fruit and veg section until I actually do do a meal plan and know exactly what I want. So I just grabbed a little bit of the pumpkin. I've got a small mushrooms, which I'll use tonight. A few onions, a few pears, a couple of green capsicum, eggs, caster sugar, baking bits, some dates, Walnuts, sultanas, big bag of potatoes, which I didn't really need, but they're on special. I thought I'd try this Lebanese bread and see how we go making our own little lunchtime pizzas at home. And I do like some raisin loaf, and I just keep that in the freezer and pull it out a slice straight to the toaster whenever I might need it. Running out of a few things in the pantry, so just stocked up here. So four more of the crushed tomatoes, a couple of evaporated milk, more pineapple, a couple of tin spaghettis. Lots of cat food, salmon. I thought I'd try this pizza sauce and see what that's like. A couple of tomato paste, because I go through quite a bit of tomato paste, and the passata. Cinnamon, Vegemite. Always grab a bunch of these when I can, because they go in a lot of things that I cook, so the taco seasoning mixes. A couple of different pastas, a spaghetti and a spiral there. Um, Got this one for hubby because he does like the peppermint chocolate. I absolutely love these fruit bakes, so I grabbed myself two packs of them. I find them a nice morning tea snack. Toilet blocks, artificial sweeteners, just a few little bits, slidey bags. Now for the freezer, Spanakopita. Look, seven bucks this thing is, and look, that's pretty good for a quick and easy meal, $7. I've never bought diced onion before. I've always sort of object to that, but there weren't a lot of good onions there. So we picked those up and some different fries, cheese, big cheap margarine, because I'm doing a lot more baking and I don't really want to be using my better margarine for that. So we used to buy the Flora Proactive, but now we actually use this cholesterol um, spread from um, Aldi. I used to buy the Chibanis, but they got so expensive and I'm finding these just as good. So you get six little ones in here and they're like a Greek style yogurt with a little bit of fruit on top and they're not a bad little snack size either. Some cream. Then we grabbed ourselves some diced chicken breasts. Chicken Kiev's again, $8, but look for us for a quick and easy no cook meal, that's pretty good big packet of um, chicken schnitzels, which our son really likes. You can chuck them on a burger, make a chicken burger, or just serve them you know, as a palmer or something with some chips. Bacon, some Wagyu beef burgers. Again, this is something hubby likes. They're good um, for a weekend meal. Maybe barbecue those up. Some lemon crumb fish, always good just to have in the freezer. Some chopped milk, that was hubby's thing, some garlic bread. We go through a lot of garlic bread and I really couldn't be bothered making my own at the moment. So we're just gonna grab that one. Grabbed a couple of mints. So they usually like the five star, but they were completely out. So we got the four star and a really big packet of sausages. We'll probably do half of these as the curried sausages and I don't know what we'll do with the rest, but we'll work something out. So I feel like I've got a bit of stuff to stock up in the pantry and see with, but I certainly didn't get everything I need. And this lot come to the grand total of $232, I think. I don't have my glasses on at the moment, or $236, you might be able to see that better than me. It was certainly more than I was expecting to spend. So one of the most cost effective meals that we've made so far this week, it worked out $2.17 a serve, was just a pasta boscaola. So I just fried up some of that bacon, also half of a capsicum, the mushrooms and some onion, boiled some of the spiral pasta, made a, um, a creamy sauce with the evaporated milk, a little bit of um, tomato paste, 
and corn flour to sort of thicken that up. And it worked out just $2.17 a serve, which I thought was quite good. It's certainly one of the cheaper things I've made in a while. So there's the pasta there and there's once everything's combined with the sauce. I'm just gonna add those things together and serve it up and everyone seemed to enjoy it. It was reasonably easy and filling. I'm hoping to actually stretch this last grocery shop for three weeks if I can. I'll probably be lucky to get two and a half, but, but I'd be really happy even with two and a half weeks. We have had to do a top up shop through the week, which is a little bit disappointing already, but it was mostly just bread, milk, and some more fruits and vegetables, which if you can get them, they're terribly, terribly overpriced at the moment. But that was our pasta dish, how I served that up. It was a quick and easy meal and filling. Everyone seemed to enjoy it. So it'd be one that I'll come back to again. So I had some apricot nectar languishing in my freezer from the last time I made apricot chicken. So I decided to just chop up some apricots and carrots, which I had there, and the onion I'd purchased. I did have to buy that celery, and it was $7 for the bunch. But pop that into the slow cooker with the apricot nectar I had left over and a jar of salsa. And I just used half of the diced chicken breast, which I'd purchased, add that in, and pretty much just let it cook itself from there on. So that was a very filling meal. I served huge servings um, on the plate just with some Dungara rice. And we had heaps left over for lunch the next day as well. So we got two really big meals out of that. There it is served up with the rice. Come out quite well in the slow cooker. I don't usually do a spicy apricot chicken in the slow cooker. Um, it's one I'll give another go to, I think. Now another night we had the Lebanese bread pizzas and I've actually never made pizza with Lebanese bread before but it actually worked out really nice. I prefer thin and crispy so it was really quite good for me. I didn't film that but here I just had um, one of the Lebanese bread sheets left and a little bit of the shredded ham and pineapple left as well and I didn't want to waste that. So I've just used that up. This is the Aldi pizza sauce that I'd bought earlier as well. And that Lebanese bread was just $1.19 for five sheets. So I made up another one completely so as not to waste all those little bits because I'd already opened the tin of pineapple and had a little bit of ham. And then just wrap that in cling wrap and tossed it into the freezer. So with the rest of the chicken that I'd purchased, I decided to do some chicken enchiladas. So just with a tomato I already had, and the chicken, capsicum, onion, I threw some chili beans in there, which I probably wouldn't do again in retrospect. Uh, it was a little bit too spicy, I think, by the time I added all my herbs and spices in there. But this time we tried wrapping them in a corn tortilla. I did not like that. I found the texture a little bit different and it was very difficult to wrap. Um, for the sausages, we just, I froze half. The other half, I just used a simple Maggi um, packet mix with some carrots and onions to make a curried sausage. Serve that with mashed potato. And of course, last night I made one of our family's favorites, which is a Mexican beef tortilla stack. So I used up one of the mints there. Thanks for watching guys. Now this is the first time that I've ever done a video, like a grocery haul or a meal prep thing or anything like that. If you've ever followed me on any of my other channels, what's on the screen right now is more like the kind of content that you've come to expect. So for quite a while now, I've worked as an accountant through the day and an aerial and a yoga teacher um, nights and weekends. And, and uh, that was a lot of fun and I really loved it but we've actually moved out of the area a few months ago. And at the moment, we're just back to accounting through the day. So I'm hoping that maybe as I embrace my own domestic side a little bit more that I might share that with you guys. So if you're interested in seeing more clean with me, shop with me, grocery hauls, or maybe you wanna know about some different recipes I'm using, I'm always curious to know what other people are making or, or making with the groceries they've bought. And so sure, let me know in the comments or like and subscribe. Thanks again.